Alright, welcome to my video. At the moment, we had the DL360E Gen 8 server, which the controller B320 is giving some faulty message, so it cannot be configured. And luckily, this was under warranty. So, we're gonna replace the motherboard. We had one new board received from the HP. Here is the new motherboard and to remove the the motherboard is quite simple you just need to take it out the PCIe cage the first thing then take off all the fan release all the fan the end one for the P2 CPU2 this two you don't have a clips the others two four six you can lift it up put up uh, this way and there's two blue screw you need to turn to anti-clockwise and that's it after you release the screw you just put forwards and the SATA drive for the DVD optical drive can be removed then this is the front VGA USB connections then this also have to be removed two and then the main power main power things the main power supply cable that's it you can take the whole board out but before that this B320 it come with the 512 cache memory which you need to take it out and put one side so here's the board and Here we got a new board. So slide down. And you push it backwards. And you need to screw back the motherboard screw, uh, plug this cable back. The catch module for the B320 and 
this to plug it back power this one doesn't have a clip you just clip it in this one it come with a latch just pin down Here's the new ILO detail for the motherboard, so you need to put it on the front there. Yeah, you need to stick it on somewhere on the front. This one not longer assists, you need to stick the new one. Then this need to clip in PCIe page. That's it. Basically, take less than 10 minutes to replace the motherboard, and we need to put the CPU and RAM back to this new board. And job done. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.